it's that time of year where our vibration tends to be all over the place, okay? And I'm talking about the holiday season. As the holiday season approaches, we go through an array of emotions. We are thinking about loved ones that are no longer sitting at the table. We are thinking about loved ones that we have to sit at the table with. <laughs> we are thinking about, you know, people that have left us. We are thinking about the good things and all the, the travel we get to do and the time we get to spend with the people we love. Our emotions go all over the place. Our emotions go into limiting talks with abundance and not having enough or not being able to give as much as we would like or give as much of our time or our attention or, you know, thinking that we have these abundance blocks and we don't have enough and go into lack mentality. During the holidays, we are all over the place. It's a joyful time for many, but for others, it can be one of the saddest times of the year. So. No matter which end of the spectrum you are on when it comes to the holiday season, I want to talk to you about how to keep your vibe up during the holiday season, okay? And the first step is going to be to start with a self-awareness. Take inventory, check in, and be honest with yourself. Where are you at right now? What are you feeling? What has been coming up for you? Sit in meditation with this. Take a few cleansing deep breaths. Get grounded get aligned, call down the light, call in your higher self. What am I actually feeling? What is coming up for me? What needs to be healed? What am I not willing to see? Who in my life is a light and who is dimming my shine? Take inventory and be real with yourself, okay? It's going to be very hard to reach your highest vibration if you're not willing to heal what is holding you down. And oftentimes we don't even know what's holding us down. So doing this type of meditation, and actually I'm being guided right now to tell you this. This is not something I often teach. I have it in one of my, um, one of my programs, but it's not something I write a lot about or speak a lot about. And this is the, there's a special meditation that I do, that I started doing when I first began my journey. I was led into it by my spirit team and I had no idea that it was going to transform my life in such a magnificent way. So what I started doing was I would sit down, I would get into meditation, usually with some, some Tibetan flute music or some kind of meditation music to kind of help ease my mind and get me relaxed. I would walk through a mindfulness meditation, relaxing each part of the body. Then I would ask my higher self to show me where I needed to go and I would just journey, okay? And there were so many times that my higher self took me to moments in my childhood that I didn't even remember until that point. And there were specific arguments or specific people that would be brought to my attention, things I would feel, and then I just would start to cry and purge and let everything out. And I could just feel so much deep-seated, deep-rooted emotions just coming out of my pores is how it felt like just coming out of everywhere things that had been locked in and mud that had turned into concrete had been coming out of my body and so if you sit down and you just ask yourself take me to where I need to go reveal to me what needs to be healed show me what I still need to work through and then you don't judge it okay don't judge it no matter how small it may be no matter how big no matter how long ago you thought you dealt with that issue let it come up because if it's still coming up it still needs to be healed maybe you need to cut cords with it maybe you need to look at your inner child there and call her back to you nurture her love her as if she were your own child give her a hug tell her it's all going to be okay and call her back to you or him all of these things will help you to heal on a deep, deep, deep emotional level. And I'm telling you, I didn't even know what I was doing when I was doing this process. It changed my life. It helped me heal. It helped me to remove toxic people from my life because I was able to see the pattern and I was able to see how they were affecting me and how they even affected my language and the words that I chose to use and the, the way that I chose to perceive life. So do this meditation, it will help you at any time, whether it's the holiday season, whether you're like, okay, I've been stuck in anxiety, I've been stuck in depression, I've been stuck in this merry-go-round that I want to get off of for so long. 
try it at any time. It works at any time. But so this is the first step is self-awareness. Then you're going to make a deal with yourself. I am ready to live in my best and highest vibration. I am only willing to live in my best and highest vibration. Then you need to pay attention to your thoughts. You need to speak positively, think positively. And if you catch yourself going down the rabbit hole of negative talk of this is stupid, this is dumb, I'm being dumb, I can't believe I did this, kicking yourself, stop, pause, take a breath. Tell yourself you love yourself. Tell yourself you approve of yourself. Tell yourself that you're human and you're here to have human experiences and it's okay to have missteps, but in this moment, you're choosing right now to have a different day. I asked my son, I started this when he was two and a half years old, when he would throw a tantrum, what kind of day do you wanna have? What kind of mood do you wanna be in? Do you wanna be happy? Do you wanna be sad? Do you wanna be grumpy? Do you want things to keep going wrong? Or do you want to have a happy, a joyful day? Do you wanna play and laugh and giggle? And it sounds silly saying it to, oh, two little white birds just flew over the lake. It sounds silly to say it, you know, speaking to a three-year-old, but we can talk to ourselves in the same way. We don't always have to be so hard and so rigid we can allow ourselves to be nurtured and to be kind to ourselves and I ask myself these same questions Ashley what kind of day do you want to have when I feel myself spiraling when things are going wrong and I'm getting stressed out what kind of day do you want to have you have you can change your day you can change your outlook you can change your mind in any moment at any second so what are you gonna do so that's step number two align yourself with the vibration that you want to have catch yourself when you're slipping into a vibration that you don't want to be in. Meditation, it's always going to come up. Meditation, meditation, meditation. Meditate in the morning. If you win the first hour of your day, you win the day, okay? Even if your day starts to slip, you think, I got these crystals in my pocket, I meditated this morning, I am good, I am good, nothing's gonna bring me down. Meditate, it's not only good for it's not only good for your health, your mental clarity, it's good for your vibration. It's good to align you with spirit. It's good to start to manifest. It's great to keep you in a positive mindset when you have to be around those people at the table you don't necessarily want to be in. And it's great for reminding you to be grateful for the people and the experiences that you had with the ones who aren't sitting at the table anymore which brings us to gratitude. Find gratitude in everything, in every moment, for every person, for everything, there is something to be grateful for. It's a pretty chilly day, but I am so grateful for this beautiful weather, for the sunshine, for the fresh air, and for the energy, and to be here with you today making this video. When I am around people that I am not energetically aligned with, I ground myself, I connect, myself to spirit I protect my energy I ask to only or I declare that I'm only willing to receive that which is for my best and highest good anyone who is not for my best and highest good will stay out of my energy and it happens it sounds so silly but listen we teach other people how to treat us so by saying and setting these boundaries for ourselves spirit the divine the universe and our higher selves are going to help us and then other people around us they may not know it on a conscious level, but their spirit knows that we have set these boundaries for them and unless they are willing to abide by those boundaries, our energies aren't gonna interconnect. So you'll find that these people kind of stay further away from you. Retreat, replenish, and give to yourself, okay? The holidays, we get so focused on having to go here, having to do this, having to make this, having to go to the store, having to make this for the dinner and the person's coming over and we gotta clean and we gotta do this. Y'all, it's exhausting just thinking about it, okay? So find some time for yourself. You know that I am a huge advocate for a one hour by yourself in the morning to get up, to meditate, to journal, to drink some tea, to get your body moving, whether it's yoga or going to the gym or simply stretching. Everything, every day, I do my morning routine, okay? It used to not be on the weekends. I do it on the weekends out. Even if it's shorter where I go outside and I drink a cup of tea by myself or I get my body moving, it's so important to find time to replenish, 
time for yourself and time to get your body moving. It's also a good idea during this season, all seasons, but especially during this season, to be mindful of your chakra system, where you're feeling blocks, where you're a little too open, calling back your energy, clearing your energy, and you can do all of that. Um, there are different articles on the site if you don't know how to work with your chakras, and then I also have a program, Chakras 101. It's super cost effective. It teaches you all about each chakra and how to work with each chakra opening and expanding it, and it's got like a 15 minute meditation in there too to do all of that for you. So self-awareness, raise your vibration, meditation, find gratitude, set your boundaries, refresh, replenish, get your body moving. I hope this helps you get through the holiday season and any other season in your life where you're needing a little bit of support.